A break. This year has been difficult for me. I've had my plate full with lengthy projects, presentations, and papers. Not to mention my personal agenda with family, friends, and most importantly, alone time. <laughs> oh, alone time. Something I haven't had much time for until this past week. This past week, I had an opportunity to travel to California with family. Although there was work involved, we also had free time. We visited friends, went to the beach, and got a chance to shop a bit. But I want to focus on the flight to California because this is when I got an epiphany. I was sitting in my seat, and you should know, I love liftoff. So I leaned back in my seat as the plane ascended into the sky and enjoyed the ride. It felt freeing. All of my worries, all of my stress, gone. My life back home was quickly forgotten. So I looked out my window to the clouds, then downward to the ground below me. Wow, I thought. I was looking down at my entire town, and it all seemed so small. It was only in that moment that I realized how insignificant all of my problems were. It took that elevated airplane to feel calm and at peace. Because I, as I looked down, I realized I felt bigger than everything. And I felt capable of anything. I realized that I had been too close to my situations, projects, and just my life to actually see the beauty in what I had been doing. I had been so close that I had become incapable of seeing the big picture. I hadn't captured myself to feel trapped, stressed, and without remedy, when in reality, that wasn't the case. So, when I've so I've come to the conclusion that all we need is to just take a break. Step back from what you're working on, take a deep breath, and look at your life, your project, your essay or your painting from a further stance. You just need some time to think, to analyze, and re-examine where you're going with whatever you're doing and why. Then continue. After the break, you'll feel refreshed again, ready to start over and go until the end. You'll hopefully feel determined and invincible. Let's take a look at this through the eyes of an artist. Say she or he is painting a beautiful, abstract painting, and as she or he begins painting, she or he is at a proper distance from the canvas. But later the artist begins getting closer and closer. Eventually the artist notices that they're centimeters away from the canvas. She or he had lost track of what they had been painting because... All it can focus on is that round circle it has been painting and other random strokes. So the artist thinks, this seems like it has no purpose. <laughs> I'm going nowhere. But they continue to stand centimeters away. Of course the artist is going to think that they're going nowhere. All she or he can see is a blob just orange. So there is nothing very special about that orange blob, but as he inspects it, he realizes, maybe if I just back up a few inches. As he backs up, he can see his painting clearer and clearer. He notices that he had been way too close. He backs up a few feet and really takes in this beautiful painting he's created. If he would have backed up sooner, he wouldn't have felt so bad and without motivation to continue. If he would have stopped, he wouldn't have been able to see that unique abstract painting he had created and notice that all along there was a purpose and a goal which he had accomplished. My words of wisdom and encouragement to you are that the next time you feel incapable, like you're going nowhere, stressed or stuck, take a step back. In fact, Take a few steps back, take a deep breath, close your eyes for a minute, rest, and then look at the beautiful, amazing, innovative thing that you've done or created, because trust me, everything has a purpose and a plan. Sometimes all we need is break. 
So the question is, what perspective will you be using today? A blurry, unclear, zoomed-in one, or a clear, purposeful, zoomed-out one? There's a quote by Bryant McGill that says, Your calm mind is the ultimate weapon against your challenges. So relax. And I encourage you that if at a later time you have a chance to look at this particular blog and see the pictures, it might help you to actually understand this a little bit better.